Gail Williams. Relax, Miss Williams. Um, what do you have with you here, it's a my friend? Espresso grinder. It's a flat uh, burr grinder. Okay. In fact, I'll show you the burrs. This is how you clean this baby. Take the lid off. Step one. <laughs> What happened? Oh, I Grammy can't get into the sophisticated case, huh? <laughs> yeah. Go all the way like this to this so you can take it apart. Oh, okay. And down in there. Yep. Nice. Okay. Put it back cool. Together. Now we haven't tried this yet, so we don't actually know how fine or anything it's going to go to. Yep, this is our first run. Brand new. We want to see if it's going to go fine enough for some of these machines. It. Down here, we've got the on-off, and then we've got a timer that we think is based on cups. I think so. Yeah. And then this is the fineness of the grind, and it won't work unless the lid is on them. Let's see what number one does, or down in through here. I have no idea. Yeah. And Let's just go small on that. Look at that static. Oh, that's going to fly everywhere. Woo! Jesus, so tacky. Let's see. It's not. It's not fine enough for most espresso machines. It's pretty coarse. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what nine does. Pothole filler. <laughs> That's my guess. So we had one of our people. Yeah, staticky. Mm -hmm. I had one of the folks tell us that when we were doing the Breville, he wrote into me and he said, you know, as a fair shake, you should have changed the setting and then ground some and thrown it away. And I never did get back to him. I need to do that. But I think we gave it a fair shake because we let it grind quite a bit. And at the top of the pile, you mm -hmm. could see what the current. So oh, yeah. Let's do it in the middle. How about that? Yeah, it's getting coarser. Okay. See it? Yeah. Tobacco. Okay. That would make a good, uh, uh, not quite a, you're messy. Don't you do that. <laughs> <laughs> but I have. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's take it up a bit. So... Not an espresso machine grinder. No. Uh, you could probably use it with the pressurized porta filters, though. Yeah, I would think. Like yeah. the, um, the, like the finest. And yeah. that kind of stuff. In the finest. Yep. You can try it out. Yeah, we should. Okay. Okay, I think this is the pothole filler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. That fills the cracks <laughs> in your driveway. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. You want to try it on the... Oh. You know... Yeah. It's not consistent either, No, it's it? pretty inconsistent. Okay, let's pause. We'll try the finest setting in the uh, Venetia, see how well it works. Yeah. When the moment, please. So here it is at the finest. Gail was putting it in, and it got all over the place because it's a kind of a messy storage container. But it's pretty inconsistent in the particle size, which is kind of what we also know to be true about our good friend, the Capresso Infinity Grinder. So yeah, folks. Finest Capresso. Uh, and I didn't tamp it. I did just like you would on this machine, not tamping, to see what it would do. I'm so up in your business right now. You're my grill? You're my okay. grill? You just took an imprint of my eyeball <laughs> so I can get through into the... C-I-A. Yeah, because you're actually a special agent. Yeah. I do have a security... Oh, I do have a security clearance. I did work for a place that, where I had to have it. They looked into my background. <laughs> okay, Gail. That's not the worst in the world. Taste it. Mm. Don't make me. You can't make me. Come on. Hey, look at... Check your work, Gail. I'm going to... Boy, it's hot. Well, you know, it's a typical shot out of the uh, Via okay. Nausea. Cool. It's not all that. It could have a little more full body, and I think you'd get that if you had a finer grind. Okay. It would extract more out Do of Do you the want body. to try it with the non-pressurized, or do you think it's just never going to work at all? It's not going to work at all. 
That would be my guess. Let's just try it for science. Not that tamp, Gail. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> you just, you, you tamped the shiz out of it, is what you said. Uh, yeah, you said that. <laughs> Let's see. Oh yeah, there we go. One, two, three, <laughs> okay. four, five. That's about seven seconds. Yeah, so obviously, not gonna work on any machine that doesn't have a pressurized system, but you know, serviceable on a pressurized port filter or basket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. All right. Um, for that. And it's not a hundred dollar grinder either, so. Yeah, it's 50, 50 bucks. So if you're gonna if you're gonna be doing pressurized porta filter espresso or any other kind of coffee prep, this could be a good choice. Not super consistent in the particle size, but it's fifty bucks. Fifty nine, I think it was. Well, the black is forty nine, and the oh. stainless steel is fifty nine. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad I know product knowledge. Bye, Gail. <laughs>